guys, welcome to my channel. I'm the Savvy Daughter and I hope y'all are having a great week. Everybody experiences change in their life. Whether the changes are small or big, whether they're good or bad, and whether you chose them or not, everybody experiences change. In 2023, my life completely changed when my family moved to a brand new city at the beginning of the year. I'm talking right around January 1st. My family packed up all our stuff and moved to Florence, Alabama to try and start a nursery business. My dad went from working a pretty typical nine to five job to becoming an entrepreneur and trying to start a, bit, a nursery business from scratch. Moving to a new city where I knew not even a single person. I'm talking, I did not know one person's name when we moved to this new city. Obviously came with its own challenges. It came with challenges like meeting new people and since my dad completely changed careers trying to figure out how to get a nursery business running from nothing and trying to adjust to life in a brand new place. Even just smaller annoyances, such as the fact that the size of our house decreased, so we now don't have a dishwasher, or having to walk through the mud to get to our car for a couple of months because we didn't have a driveway for a while. Just small annoyances like that, which really aren't that big of a deal, seem like a big deal when you've just moved somewhere and you don't know anybody, and it's just, it's, it's a lot and it's overwhelming. So that's how my 2023 started out. I was at a brand new city, trying to get to know people, trying to build a nursery business from nothing with my mom and my dad, and just trying to adjust to a new life. Huge life changes are hard for everybody and moving is also hard for everybody, but I think it is specifically hard for teenagers. I have moved two times in my life, once when I was six years old and once when I was 15 years old. And I can say from experience that when you're a little one and you're moving, at some point you just accept it. You know, you accept that you've moved, you're still with your mom and dad. It's really easy to make friends when you're little. You can play a game of tag with some other little kid and, and your friends for the next five years. And when you're an adult and you make your own decisions, you get to choose what you do in your life. You get to choose moving or staying put, or most of the time when you're an adult, change is more under your control. But when you're a teenager, it's really weird because you're still underneath what your parents want to do. Like, I didn't choose it, my parents did, and it's a lot harder to make friends and adjust to a new situation when you're 15 than when you're six. So it's like, it's. I think it's the hardest to move probably when you're a teenager because you have to just figure out how to deal with decisions that you didn't necessarily make, and you have to figure out how to deal with them with a good attitude. So how exactly did I choose to deal with this major life change? I just wanna start out by saying not perfectly. I did not deal with it perfectly. I'm sure there are days that I gave my parents a hard time and I didn't choose to do the right thing and, and all of that, but there are a few things that I tried my very best to do and to lean on that I think helped me adjust to a new life. The number one thing that I chose to lean on through this whole move and major life change was my faith. I have a strong faith in the Lord Jesus and I know that, that my hope is always in Him. My hope is not in people, it's not in friends, it's not in where I live. My hope is with the Lord and I think a good thing about my situation is that I trusted that my parents were doing what the Lord wanted them to do. And I knew that they were because both of my parents loved the Lord. So I didn't have to worry that we were doing the wrong thing necessarily. I knew that my parents would follow the Lord and whatever he wanted them to do. But I still had to make the decision to trust the Lord and to believe like, this is what he wants us to do. He put us here, so now, you have to live for him in a brand new situation. And it was very hard. I think that leaning on my faith and just always remembering that my hope was in the Lord and not in friends, not in people that I was meeting or people that I had left, not even in my family or the place that I was in. My hope was in the Lord forever. And so sometimes when it was really hard, that knowledge would get me through the day, just knowing like tomorrow's gonna be better and you're gonna get through this because he's with you. There were also things that stayed the same that I got to lean on, such as the fact that me and my two siblings are homeschooled, so I didn't have to change schools, which was a huge deal. I'm sure it's very hard for a lot of kids to change schools, and I've never had to deal with it. School went on pretty much as normal. 
um, we just kept doing the same thing every day, just in a different house and still had mama as my teacher. And that was really good to lean on because that was one thing that did not change. And one more thing that really helped me get through this move and kind of get to the other side of the hardest part of moving was working outside working in the nursery and trying to build this new business was really exciting and it still is really exciting we're totally still building this business but in the beginning it was like work 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 because we had to get ready for spring like we moved in january and by april the first the nursery had to be open and running so by that point we had to be ready to go so from january to april it was like every single day you're outside and you're working and you're potting plants and you're getting things ready and you're building a shed and like we were doing things every single day and it was a lot of work but i really really appreciated it because it kept my mind busy and my hands doing something and it got me through the first four months of moving which are pretty much the hardest part. And outside work absolutely was super helpful. Everyone sometimes experiences changes that they cannot control. And even though you can't always control what happens in your life, you can control your reaction to it. You can either not accept change and just be mad about it forever, or you can accept it, or you can embrace it. Accepting change is not fighting it. It's just sitting there and being like, okay, this is happening. I'm just gonna sit here. It's gonna happen. I may not have the worst attitude in the world, but I'm certainly not happy about this. Versus embracing change is more like saying, this may hurt and it sucks right now and it's not great, but I'm gonna lean into this with everything I've got and I'm gonna try to have a good attitude so that I can bless those around me, even though everything in my life is not going fantastically right now. I've tried my best over the last year to embrace the change that was kind of thrown at me. And through this journey of moving, the Lord provided opportunities for me to keep on learning and keep growing. Even though the move was crazy for a while, He still provided opportunities. I got to work in the new nursery that we built as a cashier and I got to learn a lot about business and how to run a business and how to help customers and how to deal with customers and I got really good at introducing myself to strangers because for the first time in my life I had to walk into a room of people that I had no idea who any of them were and just say hello my name is Chloe how are y'all doing <laughs> just completely by myself he also provided things at home like space to grow a garden I got to grow a garden this year and learn a lot about gardening because I have space to do that now he provided time and resources for me to build a tiny house that I'm actually sitting in today to film this video because it's freezing outside so I wanted a warm spot to make the video. Anyway, there's just been like a million things that I've learned that I would have never known if my family hadn't taken the sleep. I also got more driving hours than any other 15 year old I know or have heard of driving back and forth between the place we used to live and the new city while we were moving and building the nursery for a few months and everything it, it was 125 miles between where we used to live and where we live now so we drove back and forth and back and forth and back and forth like at least twice a week for a little while while we were getting really close to moving so I drove and drove and drove and drove and drove like a ridiculous amount of driving and I am thankful for that because it made me a good driver. Change completely can be out of your control. I'd say most of the time it probably is because when people get comfortable they don't like to change. I'm not making this video because I'm saying that any of this is easy to do. I'm not saying that it's easy to embrace change. I'm not saying that I did it perfectly at all. I'm actually making it for the opposite reason. I'm making it because this is something that's not easy to do, but that I've worked at doing over the last year, and I think I have gotten better at, at least that's my hope. It's amazing how over the past year, me going through the biggest change that I've ever experienced in my life and trying to trust in the Lord through it, how many opportunities He has provided that I couldn't have even imagined. Such as learning how to start a business from scratch. I mean, you know, how many 15 and 16 year olds do you know that get to help their dad build a business from the ground up? And that is a special opportunity and I understand that and I've tried to learn as much from it as I can. This YouTube channel is another opportunity that I was able to kind of grow since we moved. I had just started this YouTube channel a couple of months before we moved and, and after moving to a new city I was given new opportunities to make new videos and, and cool videos and I've tried to 
to do the best that I could with that too. And I think my videos have improved since the beginning of the year. Well, not the beginning of the year. The beginning of the year was three days ago. From last January when I announced on this channel that we were moving. Play that clip, I think, if you can find it. I'm the Savvy Daughter and I have some news to tell you guys today. We have moved, my family and I have moved, from Paris, Tennessee to Florence, Alabama. So we moved about 125 miles south and we now live in the very northwest corner of Alabama. To today, I know that a lot of you guys have been watching through this entire year as I learned and, and grew and did things. My goal has been to be the best sister, the best daughter, the best nursery employee, the best YouTuber, the best gardener, the best construction person that I possibly could be through this year. Having the mindset of I'm going to embrace this change really helps because no matter what you go through, if you're stubborn enough and you trust the Lord enough, you can get through it and you can get through it with a good attitude. Thank you guys for coming along with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you found it helpful. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one.